Hi, I'm Eric LeClaire, and today I'm going to show you the process of connecting a Radio Pro module to the PC and updating your firmware. If you know how to take apart your Jeep, this video is for you. If not, please watch our full video, which includes Jeep disassembly and reassembly. On your computer, visit pack-audio.com and search SRKJK11H. On the product page, below the main image, you'll find several tabs. On the firmware tab, at the bottom of the list, you'll find the Radio Pro PC application. Click to download. At the top of the list, you'll find the latest firmware. Also download the latest firmware. From your downloads folder, run the Radio Pro EXE file. This will install the Radio Pro computer app on your PC. A blue window may appear with a dialog box. Stretch this dialog box and click More Information. Now you can click Run Anyway. This will run the Radio Pro installation on your PC. Click OK and click Install. Once the program is fully installed, click Run. At this point, if you try to load a firmware file and select a file, you won't be able to because the Radio Pro app won't see the module. So connect your module with the USB cable. And the lights are blinking. I'm thinking it's all over for this firmware because I'm going to load some new stuff on here. So now with the module detected, we can select the firmware. So click the firmware icon and select file. Select your downloads folder and choose the firmware that we downloaded earlier and click open. Please be patient while the module is updating. It takes a while for the PC and the Radio Pro module to communicate. If you have the latest firmware on your module, a pop-up will appear indicating that you have the latest firmware. If you want to update it anyway, click OK. Now a green status bar will move across the screen. Please be patient. Even after the green status bar goes across the screen, you want to wait for the pop-up window to appear before you disconnect the module. Once the module is done updating, click OK, and you can take the module back to the vehicle. I hope you found this video educational and slightly entertaining. Thanks for watching.